the format of the robot. There's no need for me to make an introduction on what a dream is, you all know what it is, but I'm not sure if anyone has experienced this weird dream phenomenon. Tell me your side of the story if this rings a bell. You come home after a long day of school and or work, in addition to busting your back to do your chores you do every day around the house, then after that, you go to your bed for the night and maybe read, be on your phone or whatever else you like to do. Then when you feel tired, you tuck yourself and shut the lamp off next to you and slowly drift to sleep. Now when you wake up, at first you think you're now outside a rundown neighborhood on the sidewalk and it looks familiar. Imagine a childhood image from when you were really little, like a location you fondly remember when you were a baby. Now imagine that place being dark and everything around you is eaten by darkness with no hint of light to be seen anywhere, not even the moonlight gazing upon the cold and lonely area. That's what it felt like to be in this weird and oddly lifeless place. You realize that everything was too adjacent and perfectly paralleled to each other, like the houses, the exact same trees in front and the backyard, the streetlights, even the parked cars that wouldn't be used since nobody can be even seen for miles. At first, it makes you feel anxious since you're more used to people being around you, but after a few minutes or so, you'll start to feel comfortable and start to wonder about the strange place while gaining the knowledge of the places despite never touching your shoes on the land before. Everything surrounds you into darkness. You can't see anything further than 30 feet away from you. The cars and the houses in the neighborhood are old and look like they've been collecting dust for years, yet they stand out within the darkness around you. Then after walking for a bit, you start to call out for any help and start looking in the buildings, but you find nothing but vines and mold spreading like a virus and creeping down the walls like a snake. There's a smell that reeks of decay inside the house, though it smells familiar, you don't know what it's coming from. After trying to attempt to look for any sign of people in the neighborhood, you start to hear random noises. It's nothing to worry about yet, the area is really silent, so you're pulling in sounds out of nowhere, like a plane flying in the sky, or the faint sound of a train's horn in the distance, followed by random animal sounds, but as the minutes go by and the hours pass, the sounds get worse, with moaning, crying to yelling for help and screaming bloody murder. It sounds like it's coming from all around you. You stop what you're doing and crouch to the ground and keep your eyes closed until eventually, you hear the sounds stop. It's back to being quiet. Everything feels calm. Not for long, as you start seeing shadow-like figures walking towards you, some peeking behind the house, the cars, the trees, in the windows, they all crowd you with sharp claws in their so-called fingers and they start shredding you everywhere on your body and now you are trying to scream for help, only to no avail as no one else like you is nearby. All hope is lost and you're bawling your eyes out for help, until, you wake up, back in your bed, either two things will happen. 1. Your alarm clock is going off and you feel cold sweat on your body with dried out lips and itchy eyes. 2. It is already past 30 minutes to wake up weekly and you feel like you have a headache. Suddenly, you feel itchy all over your body, you call in sick and then try to figure out why you're itching all over your body. Then you find out that those areas where the figures cut you are red scratches like it came from a cat. You feel like it came from those beings but doubt yourself into thinking you did them yourself, then later tomorrow after a whole day of staying homesick, you wake up to feel all better again, and now those cat-like scratches are gone and no longer feel itchy. The dream you had that one day doesn't happen again, only thing that hasn't gone away is your headache from yesterday but it's no longer unbearable and you can go about your day again. If this has ever happened to you, then I hope you're glad to know that you weren't the only one who's experienced it. If anyone knows what it's called, find a way to reach out to me, I'll hopefully get to you soon and look deep into it.